Some of that debris is 3,000 feet down the canyon. That's the kind of force that it had when it, when it dislodged. Developing now, Draper City urging people to stay away from areas near the location where homes collapsed in the Suncrest area. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 5. I'm Brian Malay. And I'm Mallory Moore. This is really any homeowner's worst nightmare, mm -hmm. and it leaves all the neighbors on edge there. Ariel Harrison is live in Draper to show us what things look like today, Ariel. Well, lots of people continue to gather in this area again near Suncrest in Draper. Let me kind of show you what's going on here. We have onlookers coming just in disbelief that this has happened. Now, I've been told as I've been up here reporting since yesterday that this second home you can see that's partially fallen will fall at any time. The rest of it very scary right now. We have debris from the slides below in that canyon and it's concerning enough. The city's actually closed both uh, the Anns and Clark's trails located there in the canyon below. Now here's video of the collapses. One of the two toppled completely while the other, as you could just uh, see just now, partially is still standing. Two nearby homes now have been condemned with those families forced to move out because of concerns those homes could slide too. We spoke with the Draper City Mayor yesterday after he visited this site. We asked what's next for the two newly displaced families. For them, it's, you know, they always got to find a place to go. Um, as far as dealing with what happens to their homes, that's going to be, a, a, you know, an ongoing process that they're going to have to engage that developer who built the home because they, I, they're the ones who, you know, engineered the whole project. Now coming back out here for a live look, again, a very... Um, spot of high interest as people come to just see they can't believe this has happened these are brand new homes almost i'm told a year and a half um just ago they were built so pretty incredible a homeowner i spoke with last night who was actually in the process of evacuating told me that she feels the city has done as much as they can to help them up to this point but coming up at 10 more into the concerns and questions they still need answers to and what homeowners nearby their concerns, what they are saying. Reporting live in Draper, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.